Get ready with me. Once the boys are at school, it's the calm after the storm. Today I'll be sharing my natural glowy makeup, my skincare routine now that I'm in my 40s, and how I style my hair and fringe with those loose beach waves. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow them. Golden, 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 golden things. So I'm going to start with makeup and see if I can get rid of that very big spot, sharpish. So on that note of spots, um, I did mention a couple of videos ago that I was having a bit of a breakout. It has mostly cleared, but there is just a tiny bit left on my cheek here and this big humdinger on my chin. I mentioned before the doctor gave me some differing because it was particularly bad at one point, but it's also worth mentioning that now I'm in my 40s. I'm 42 now and I will be 43 in oh less than a month's time so at night time i do use retinol and vitamin c um, just to help with fine lines wrinkles bit of pigmentation etc but i use those at night time and i alternate between them because i find it's it's too much to have both first up a bit of sunscreen my friend told me off the other day for not using it enough so i'm making sure that i am i know there's posher ones out there but i do really love pisborim because it just smells like the beach and this one has to go on before my moisturizer so i'm going to do that now i think it's got some sort of coat coconut in it or maybe it's just the memories it reminds me of the beach then on to my eye cream I shan't talk all the way through I will just write the details of all the products I'm using and pop them on the screen because you don't need to hear me waffling although as is often the case I can't help myself but have a good old chit chat now I never know which is right do you pat it into your wrinkles or do you smooth it around them I feel like patting is the way to go like shove it right into those deep wrinkles. I wasn't gonna talk too much. Oh sorry, this one is my serum. So you paint a picture of a face face that wasn't even close to mine. It's helpful to have a mirror. With this palette from Code A, I just use the lightest tone um, just under the arch of my brow and then right in the corners of my eyes just to try and brighten them up a little bit. Now I would highly recommend Glossier's uh, Boy Brow, but as I've run out of that, I replaced it uh, from the supermarket when I popped the other day with this one, which is Wonderful Full Brow uh, by Rimmel. This one isn't as good as Boy Brow, unfortunately, but it is a lot cheaper. This is one well-worn and well-loved palette uh, that I got from a brand called Deck of Scarlet a long time ago. But I love this blush. And then I tend to use that eyeshadow as well. Really nice tones. It's not hugely technical, but it is effective. <laughs> Along with all my prescription creams that I use for my eczema, which mainly I just get on my hands, um, but I don't know if you can see, I've got a tiny bit on my lips today as well. Obviously the steroid creams, so I try not to use them too much and definitely not on my face anymore. I've made that mistake before. Um, so I do use the Aveeno Blue One, the skin relief moisturizing for very dry skin. Not sponsored by them at all, I just cannot recommend this cream enough. Um, I tend to use it more as a day hand cream, just to try and keep on top of the dryness on my hands. And then if I'm absolutely forced to, I'll then use the steroid cream as a sort of emergency measure really. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of this onto my lips to try and nip that dry skin on my face in the bud. I don't like to wear too much mascara, I don't want it to look too clumpy so just a very gentle lick of it 
it will come out really clumpy now I've said that. On to lipstick, um, what should we go for today? Normally I go for these sorts of tones, quite muted, soft brown colours. But I'm thinking today, shall we have a red lip? I think we should. So it's code 8 again and it's called Pop Art. I always use a lip brush when doing lipstick, um, even if I'm doing quite a neutral lip. It's virtually impossible with the actual lipstick. I don't know how anyone does that. Then I always go over that line uh, with a cotton bud. I'm really not keen on lip liner and I really don't want it to look like I'm wearing lip liner, even though I'm not. Uh, so where it clumps on the edges, I go over with a cotton bud just to take that away because I want it to look more like a red lip stain rather than any harsh lines. Got enough of those already. It's a bit like using that just to blend my eyeshadow. I like to have more of a blurred line with my lipstick as well. I think those sharp lines are quite hard to pull off. So I think I'm done on makeup. I've definitely got enough on there to last me the day. But before I move on to my hair and outfit idea, I just wanted to mention that I've also created two fashion edits today, which I've linked in the description box below. One being my wish list this season at Club Monaco, and the other my top nine pieces new in at Me and M. I really hope you like them. So let me show you now how I style my hair. Product wise on my hair, the only thing I've put on it so far is this styling cream by WOW. But once a month I've been using this amazing treatment for my hair which is by Esper. So this is called the Pink Hair and Scalp Mud and essentially what it is, is a really, really deep condition for your hair. I tend to put it on after I've been in the bath and smother it all over my hair and often I put it on my skin as well. And then I sleep in it so it's on my hair for a maximum amount of hours, really getting in there and doing its thing. And honestly, once you wash it off the next day, your hair feels incredible. It's really one of the best things I've found to give your hair that really deep condition. So let me get on and show you how I style my hair and give it that lovely beach wave with my fringe as well. Where is the line between dreaming and feeling blue? It's four o'clock in the evening, I haven't left my room. But the truth is, if I'm honest, I feel stuck here in the middle. The aim of the game really when I'm drying my hair is to dry this top section which has got the most damage from highlighting and straightening etc to dry that the least. So that's why I'm going around all the bottom section first making sure all this is dry and then that's the last thing I'm going to do so that gets the least amount of heat. So now that's fully dry I'm just going to go over a few of those wispy bits with my straighteners. Even though my fringe is just touching my eyes, this is the perfect kind of length for me. It's almost just at that tipping point of, oh, you really need to have your fringe trimmed, but it's just long enough to do that Parisian French kind of flick. And when it's long, you can kind of sweep it to the side as well. So I don't need to do any more straightening. I'm just gonna go on and do a little bit of beach waves. So that's pretty much it with my hair, just those loose, beachy, natural waves with quite a long Parisian style fringe. So now I better actually get dressed and choose my outfit of the day. Appalachian sunrise eats my skin Even with my eyes still closed 